So ladies and gentlemen, here we have my Lexus LS400. Got the Mark II outside. Um, the Lexus is going into hibernation for, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. We're going to see. The Beamer got to come back out the garage. Um, I got to get tags on it. Um, the tags expired. Got me a little flat tire or whatever. Um, I kind of sort of organized my, um, the garage a little, it was really dirty. Trust me. It looks dirty now, but like, I just, the floor needs to refinish. Um, I fix the shelves. You feel me? Like, you know, organize things a little better, um, you know, to make space. Um, the Lexus coming in, as you guys can see, I had got the, um, the JP rear bumper. Um, so I have plans to, this is from that little valence piece is from my, um, OEM bumper. So I want to make something that comes all the way around. Um, as you can see, identifies a white bumper, but anyways, I want to make it all the way around, but like stop right there, start right here. And I did not want to go dual exhaust setup. You know, I got the old exhaust still on here. Um, as you can see, it was double tip, but I bent one of them just so it could fit like through here. But I should ready to come off. Um, yeah, make that all the way around and then repaint the, you know. Um, <clears throat> some things that I want to correct, like the flare. This flare was done years ago um, before I really knew um about fender flares that you could just buy the metal ones and weld them on um i did it for this one once i learned about that so this is ulterior motive that's why it has this little lip on here you know what i'm saying nice and smooth that one we literally just put the wheels on and i told the shop look make this fit and he just literally outlined it and did that so um i know people have seen it for years and wonder you know why i look like that but it's something that I did and I wasn't going to redo it just because like it wasn't worth the amount of money that it would have cost. Um, the car has a lot of little flaws that I would like to fix. Um, but eventually I'm going to get to it right now. I don't really have the money to, you know what I mean? Correct everything. As you can see, the lips, all kind of scratches on them. You know what I'm saying? Tires are done. Um, you know, just little things, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would like to possibly redo the front flares as well because I got the short ones and, you know, they stop here. So basically, this is a weak point, so they always crack right here. Um, fix this, add like a nicer vent right here, you know what I'm saying? This was this is literally the OEM fender, by the way, just in case you guys uh, I have a lot of questions to ask. Hey, where'd you get the fenders? These are OEM fenders, ulterior motive about two inch flares and you know i had them slice the vent into that whatever the case may be uh, front bumpers you see cracking paint cracking um crack right here you know what i'm saying these i gotta figure what i'm gonna do because they they pop out when they ready um the car I've been out here in florida sun so of course they fade um this is fire to me you know what i'm saying this was something i did years ago um, believe it or not, I didn't expect the finish to come out like that. That was not a plan, <laughs> but it came out like that. The more we painted it, the more the damn thing kept on like moving like that. So we like, you know what? Fuck it. It looks good. Leave it alone. Um, little things I want to fix. Like I said, this is weak point because the flare stopped right here. I wouldn't mind if the flare comes all the way into the bumper. You know what I'm saying? Just so I don't have to have this weak point crack right here. You know what I'm saying? So little things like that that I want to perfect um I had LED boards in the last lights those were you know flickering some of them stopped working um and then one of them got it fell out and got rubbed off by the wheel somehow and I put the OEMs back in they look nasty so I wrapped them white and just put the words behind it just and people have asked me how'd you get your corners white like it's just something i did just to make it you know what i mean like i said weak point you know see the paint bubbling right here um 
little things. I would love to change the wheels, but oh, the 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 hood got a dent right here, so it bends. It's you know what I'm saying. It's, I'm gonna get a new hood. As you see, it doesn't even line up right here. So I want to get a new hood before I do all that body work. Um, it just. I feel like it doesn't seem like a lot, but to me, it's a lot. All my suspension is OEM, believe it or not. OEM suspension, um, not OEM, all the suspension, but like, you know, it's on bags, bags over BC coils, but I do want to get arms. If I don't get aftermarket arms, which you know, if I do serial nine, that's like a couple of thousand dollars or whatever the case is, um, a few thousand dollars. Um, I want to at least get OEM, get everything fresh OEM um, as far as the interior goes interior is decent I want to get you know door the you know get little pieces like here um, you know sort it out here I tried something you know what I'm saying make a little, 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 little yeah um, here I want to I want to we tried to like we were in the process of making something to kind of cut some of the heat out because I don't have AC in the car anymore. So I would like to, you know what I mean, build something right here that's gonna um, keep the heat out the car when I do drive it in summer. Because otherwise I don't want to drive it because literally all the heat, this is my transmission that you're looking at right there, comes right up. Um, but besides that, like interior wise, everything is decent in the interior. You know what I'm saying? Um, the white seats could get redone, but that's not really my focus right now. Um, and you know, once I do all that body work, then, you know, the livery got to come off. Um, I feel like it did its time. It did its time. Um, had it for a few years, even though I don't take the car out as much, but I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Um, I have enough pictures and videos to last for a while. So if I'm gonna do all that body work, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna be mad that, you know, the vinyl is gone or whatever. Uh, I've been looking at the LED tails. Um, I think it might be time to get some and upgrade from these. Um, even though these will forever be tough, but I feel like some LEDs would set it off some. Um, that's about it, really. The transmission, <laughs> that's a whole nother story. The transmission, <sighs> ping-ponging with it for the last eight years, just trying to get it in a decent, you know what I'm saying, work in order. Like, it works, but the more OEM I could get it, you know what I'm saying, is how I would want it, you know what I'm saying? Um, right now, um, I'm having an issue with my throw-out bearing um basically sitting too close to the pressure plate so if i'm at high rpms it literally sits right on the pressure plate and it's just like like doing this you know what i'm saying so it's gonna over time kill the throw bearing um i'm trying to get it to where it's far enough off but then still get enough engagement literally that's all i need to do that's all i need to do just minor adjustments to get that little bit of space fixed um Everyone is saying, you know, hey, you should just get this kit, get that kit. But I don't think that's worth $4,500, which I don't fucking have at all. You know what I'm saying? So um, it's one of those things where I'm just like, it works right now. So just adjust it. You feel me? If I did have the bread, yes, I would boom, get me, a, you know what I'm saying? A whole new setup that works like OEM. But unfortunately, that's not the case right now. You feel me? So. I feel like it's best to park the car, you know what I'm saying? Until I figure something out or figure how um, I'm gonna go about doing that. Um, but until then, I feel like I just wanna park it up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, kinda get everything how I want it. Might change the wing as well, you know what I'm saying? I've been looking at the 326 style um, or the 326 wing itself. Um, because I feel like I've kind of outgrown this look, even though people love it. Um, it was high before. I lowered it to get a different look. And now I feel like, you know, it's time to get something else. Either the 326 style, 326, or 
an aggressive, aggressive duck lip. That's kind of like the look that I wanted with this. You know what I'm saying? If you notice, I just want an aggressive, like the duck has to be that aggressive. You know what I'm saying? If I do go um, duck bill um, style. And I feel like that would be that would be a decision I make before I do all the body work um, to kind of make sure that, you know what I'm saying? I'm not painting the car like a few times. I just want to do it one time with everything done. So, yeah. Um, transmission. I talked about the transmission engine. I want to get everything refreshed. Um, time and belt. You know what I'm saying? Water pump. All that good stuff. You know what I'm saying? I want to get, you know, refreshed in the front. Um and that would complete the engine part. I did want to go boost, but if I have the bread, then I could sit down with a um, fabricator and if they could figure something out, you know what I'm saying? And we come together and put a little bit of boost on it. It, doesn't, it don't need to be too much. Like if I'm, if I could get it healthy at 400, I swear, I'm, I'm okay with that. You feel me? I have the wagon, y'all know the wagon. The wagon is right now getting a full restoration. And when the wagon comes back, I have more than enough power <laughs> to represent for all my cars. You feel me? I don't need all my cars to have like crazy power. This is just what I take to shows. So if I get a decent little 400, nice, healthy 400, every time I hit it, it yeah, with the six speed, chef's kiss. I'm, I'm okay with that. So um, for right now, I just feel like I need to park the car. You know what I'm saying? Focus on getting the money right. And then, you know, the plans will come. Um, she... For the most part, it's going to remain stock. I like hopping in the car and just driving anywhere. People have been waiting for it to be modified for a long time now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to say at least I had it for like almost a year and a half and people have been waiting. I got tents, so that's something. Um, but besides that, I think that that'll be it. Um, my boy gave me this car, <laughs> but I told him, look, man, I'm parking this car in the garage. When you come to Florida, you could drive it if you want. If you don't want to drive it, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Kish. Love that man. You know what I'm saying? To death. That's my brother from another mother. And you know what I'm saying? He just gifted me a damn car. You know what I mean? So I feel like I owe it that much to, to make it right. Make it nice. You know what I'm saying? So that, of course, requires money. You feel me? Need paint and need, you know what I mean? Little things. Um... But I feel like once I get this up right, this is gonna be, I'm gonna keep this running. You feel me? I'm not gonna spend no money on this. I'm just gonna keep it running, keep everything looking decent. You know what I'm saying? Drop the top when the sun is not too hot, because Florida sun do get a little crazy. So when it, you know, it's not too hot, I could bring it out at least once this is parked. This, I want it to be at a decent point where I could just drive it to events. I wanna, you know what I'm saying? A show coming up. Hey, Troy, come out. I'm not bringing the legs out i'll bring that out you feel me because otherwise i'm in the daily um or if i have the wagon back by then you know what i'm saying i could take the wagon out or whatever the case may be um but for right now i just made this video just to let y'all know like yo officially you know what i mean she's out of commission um once i back it up into the garage i'm going to remove the battery just so the battery doesn't die over time I don't know if y'all have seen the paint, but the paint has a nice blue pearl in it. Um, I never had it like um, <clears throat> wet sanded and buffed, you know what I'm saying? Like ever since it got painted. So literally the best of the paint has never been shown. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody's ever seen like the best of it. Some people see it at night, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, but most people have not, you feel me? So I don't know. I just want to... I just want to do it right, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like people keep expecting me to just keep popping up to every event, like, hey, bring the car out, bring the car out. And they don't understand that I'm not really happy with the car. You know what I'm saying? I'm not 100% comfortable with it. Um, not saying that, you know, most cars, we're not 100% comfortable, but I feel like if, if I keep doing this, fixing this little piece, then I have 99 other pieces that I'm ignoring until something else happened and I fix this piece and then I still ignore the 99 or I fix one out the 99 and I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't want to keep doing that. So if I could have it to where it's kind of sort of decent, you know what I'm saying? Then I want to do that. I owe that, I owe that to myself and I owe that to the car. I've been had the car for eight years and I feel like it's, you know what I'm saying? I want it to have, I want it to be in its prime now. 
You know what I'm saying? I want it to come out in its final form. You know what I'm saying? Soon. I want to keep switching it up. I'm not young no more. So, you know, I do owe it one last makeover um, to get it right. Um, and, you know, once that's, once I'm comfortable with that, then I'll bring it back out. But for now, a lot of people won't understand. A lot of people don't, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's so hard to explain all the stuff that needs to be done. That's why I made this video. Um, a lot of people never seen this, you feel me? And you probably will never see it, you feel me? Now that the video is out, you know what I'm saying? Y'all could go ahead and do it, you feel me? But for the most part, you know what I mean? It's a little stuff. It's a little things that, you know what I mean? I try to stand out my little dash mat. Love that dash mat. Um, love this too. Factory Midnight style, big up yourself. And good vibes, good life. That's my brand. So if you guys do need to get some decals, you feel me? Or custom shirts, custom hoodies, whatever you need. Custom apparel, I got you with that. You know what I'm saying? Holla at your boy. You get me? But I got this board right here that <laughs> I keep putting little jots on to see, like, you know what I'm saying? This is the E30 list. So, as you can see, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? That's, it's not a lot, but, like, yeah, you feel me? Here, you know, pilot beer. I need a one-piece dryer shaft, a new exhaust, freshen up the suspension. Axle's definitely ticking, so I never, I haven't done that yet. Somebody said something about crank walk, and I plan to look into, you know, what that is. I know what it is, but to see if, you know, that's something that's possibly on the way out or, you know what I'm saying, whatever the case is, get my alignment. Haven't done an alignment in seven years. <laughs> Real shit. Um, get some splitters and stuff once I finish all the body work, but... Yeah, just wanted to kind of give you guys a little rundown of what's going on with the car. And, you know, you will see it around. You know what I'm saying? Um, for right now, she's going to be in the garage, parked up, aired out, and waiting on Poppy to make some money. So, until next time, I'm going to try to keep the page updated somewhat. Um, and, you know, hopefully I'll... Be back out soon if not then of course i have content of many other cars to show you guys so um definitely stick around as you always been and you know what i mean you know i'm on social media all the time doing all kind of dumb shit. so troy no chill you know what i'm saying that's the main page troy got whips troy dot got dot whips you know what i'm saying that's where i'm gonna post the cars troy be cooking where i'll be cooking about food and shit. good vibes good life that's the brand page so if you need anything custom apparel for your brand you want to start a brand whatever you want to do i got you you feel me so highlight your boy and that's all i wanted to show you for today peace